Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to use Mail Merge using Word and Excel. Firstly, open the blank document in Word. Next is open the Mailings tab in the uppermost corner of the Word. Next is press Start Mail Merge. There are many options in Start Mail Merge, letters, email messages, envelopes, labels, and directory. But in here, we're going to use email messages. The screen will be very large, so you need to click the middle button on the lower right corner of Word. And now, for it to be easier, you may now write an email message to use in the mail merge. I have now prepared the letter to be used in this mail merge. You may now select recipients. In this part, you may need to make a table in Excel. I have prepared in advance a table in Excel to be used in this mail merge. The most important reminder is to always use the first row to be your heading in your table. You can also add more parameters. I have filled the table with random names and random addresses but the events name, events address, and email are all the same. Now we can move on to the mail merge. And now open the Word document and select Select Recipients. Then press Use an existing list. Find your file in the desktop and open it. Always remember to use your preferred sheet and the first row of data columns and column needles. Next is to highlight the parameter you want to change in your email. Then click Insert merge field. Choose the right parameter, in this case, the full name of the recipient. Next is the address. Same step. Insert merge field, then press address. Continue this step until all the remaining parameters are completely filled. Now, as you can see, all the dark highlighted parameters are all the merge field that you used in this mail. To preview your file, press Preview Results. After you've pressed it, all the parameters should be filled with the necessary information in the Excel. You may also see the preview version of all the recipients by clicking the right button on the right side of the Preview Results. If you want to unsee the preview results, simply press preview results again to see the original file. Next, to completely finish the mail merge, press finish and merge. There are many options in finish and merge. Edit individual documents, print documents, and send email messages. Because this is an email message, we are going to choose send email messages. Then a tab will appear. Choose email in two because all of the email of the recipients are stored here. The subject line can be any, but in this case, I'll put invitation. Mail format, it can be attachment, plain text, and HTML, but I'll choose HTML in this case. Next is to send records to all recipients, current record of recipients, or from specific recipients, but in this case, I will choose all recipients and press OK. If you have an Outlook account, go to your Outlook and check Outbox. In the Today tab, you can see all of the letters that will be sent to their respective recipients. And that is it for the video tutorial on how to use Mail Merge using Word and Excel. I hope you had fun today and learned something new. See you again soon. Thank you for watching.